Look, when I've decided to make a video about <laughs> apartment and what's around us, the crazy storm started. I can't even open the door, like it's so strong. So when it's bad weather in Dubai, it's really bad weather in Dubai. <laughs> oh God, next time. Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Xenia. I've been living in UAE for about five years. And today I'm gonna show you where I live. I live in Dubai on the biggest artificial island in the world, which is called Palm Jumeirah. And I'm gonna show you all the facilities that you rent together with the apartment because in UAE, when you rent an apartment, you automatically get the beach access, the pool, the gym and all that around your apartment. So I'm gonna show you all of that and I'll tell you how much it costs and basically we'll explain how it all works here. So let's start. And I'll start with explaining where it is basically located, this apartment. So as you can see behind me, this is the view from my balcony and all of that is the palm tree sort of um, parts of the palm. So if we just go outside now, oh God, it's windy, you will see it better. So this is all the sea and these are the parts of the artificial island. outside for a moment. Here is our parking. Cars in Dubai are cheap. So here around we have all sorts of luxury. Mercedes, Infiniti, BMW and not only. And uh, my car is kind of like the worst on the whole parking. Here it is. <laughs> so many Lamborghinis here, I wouldn't believe. Why are there so many uh, luxury cars here? Cars are super cheap here and people are getting huge loans. Like sometimes you just see a car that hasn't been moved for like a year. Uh, it's with a layer of dust and it's Ferrari or Lamborghini. So here is the territory outside. Um, it's shared between the hotel people and the residences. So over there is the Lazy River. It's actually quite green around here. So obviously all this greenery is natural, like it was planted here and they actually water it also every day. Here is like the watering system. Everything is pretty green for Dubai. Over there you can see probably the Lazy River. It's more like for kids, but I actually got in there once as well. And here is the kids play yard very nice um, actually a lot of facilities and good stuff for kids here some birdies kids area and here's the beginning of the lazy river so you can get yourself like like around things like that and just swim across it very nice more of the kids play area not so many kids here though the weather is nice, it's weird. And over there is the infinity pool. Infinity pool here is looking out into the sea and as you can see, there is not much even difference. You can't identify where is the pool and where is the sea. Left hand side is for the hotel guests and right hand side, as you can see, there is a red barrier only for the residents. If you don't have residency card, you cannot access this area, which is awesome because, as you can see, not so many people here. On the left, over there, is the hotel guest. It's always full and the residency side is always empty because people don't normally go to the pool when they live in Dubai. And here is what I like the most about this place is the private beach, which is actually not so private. It's also shared with the hotel uh, guests. But as far as I know in Dubai, actually residences don't really have private beaches. They all are combined uh, sort of together with some hotel. 
there are normally no birds at all. I'm not sure what happened here today. Uh, it's just doesn't look normal. Okay, I gotta get out of here. Oh. Here is the kids club where you can leave your child for a couple of hours. Um, they have pretty nice stuff for them to play with. And now here next to the kids playground area in this little building in the middle is the house club, the gym, which is actually my favorite part because it's pretty rare that in an apartment, um, in a place that you live, like downstairs, there is a decent gym with all the necessary machines and stuff. Usually it's pretty basic. Mm -hmm. You can access it with your residency card. Every apartment that you rent in Dubai will have some kind of gym. Usually it's just a few treadmills, nothing special. And to have a good, with a good AC, and a lot of different machines, weight machines, gym downstairs is pretty rare and yeah this is what I appreciate about this place the most I didn't even buy any gym membership because this one is literally enough even if you are doing pretty serious training and this is money saving so all these machines like they're exactly what you need this is the view from the lobby you can see the whole territory over there is the pool and here is the marina. So this is not the palm anymore. This is the land, mainland. If your apartment is on this side, it's gonna be twice as expensive as if it is on this side. This is how it works here. And the lazy river is actually more like for kids. It's only one meter deep. But it's still very nice to have something like that. And from that window, the other side. Welcome. This is the place. I didn't clean up specifically for that video, so it will be um, maybe a little bit messy. This is the kitchen, which is combined with the living room it's quite large living room and here are one two three rooms but technically only two bedrooms this one and that one and bedrooms have the bathrooms in them and there is also a guest bathroom here right at the entrance and it's quite small it's just like a basic guest bathroom When you rent an apartment in Dubai, in UAE, everything inside the apartment is empty except for the kitchen. So the stuff which is already installed, the fridge, the kitchen, and um, some stuff in the bathroom. The rest uh, you have to bring with you, including the washing machine and all your furniture, everything. The kitchen was here. And this is actually the good part about this apartment that the kitchen is very nice. Um, because you should see some other apartments kitchens um, it's a disaster <laughs> so this one is nice I like it and the important part for me is the cooking pan <laughs> the um, cooking panel and the oven it's really important and fridge obviously because some of the fridges are really horrible oh yeah and also there is always some kind of washing machine um, or maid's room sometimes it's called it's the room where you keep all your stuff this is our um, washing machine and in this house they in this apartment they have this kind of very weird sound system and this is the part of the sound system which we actually don't use i'm not even sure if it's working i think it's actually working so i probably should have used that so this big thing is um kind of connected to all the system throughout the whole the apartment and in all the rooms it's through the loudspeakers like this one here um you can hear any song or anything that you put on it or radio or tv whatever and then over here there is a control like i'm not sure 
you can see like that. So there is a control over here and all these buttons basically mean like different channels and volume and stuff. So here is the lights and here is the part for the sound system. You can control it from every room like that. Yeah, it's for some reason not working. I don't think it works, whatever. The size of this apartment, it's pretty big. It's around 2000 square feet, just about 2000 square feet. Here is the thing, to rent this apartment, it's gonna cost you around 40,000 a year. And to buy an apartment like that, it's gonna cost you, let me tell exact price, it's gonna be around $750,000, starting from $750,000. And now the best part, and this is why it's so bloody expensive, not bloody expensive, but a bit overpriced, it's because of that view. So the balcony is not that big here, but it's nice. And in the evening, every evening, you can see this wonderful sunset over here. This is just awesome. So we put this couch here, which is kind of like keeps getting destroyed and Actually, in Dubai, there's so much sun, so much wind, so much sand that having furniture on the balcony isn't the best idea. These are some other actually residential buildings and there is a mall right there. It's a new mall, it was just open. So now I can walk um, to the mall, which is super convenient. And here is the, all the yachts. And over there, over there far away is the Atlantis. It's like one of the best hotels in Dubai, it's quite interesting. And then it's pretty normal to see um, something like that in the evening in Dubai from your balcony. Like my first start every day in this month because it was like a shopping festival, Dubai shopping festival. So <laughs> I'm so used to this now. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you soon.